Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're given the equation of negative 2x squared plus 32x minus k is equal to 0. And we're going to be looking for values of k that are possible when the equation has two real solutions. Because those values are going to be able to give us m because we have this uh, inequality over here which we don't have to worry about right now. First of all, we just need to find values of k that work when the equation has two real solutions. So when is that going to be the case? So if we look at the quadratic formula to see what the solutions to this equation would be, if you just go with the quadratic formula, you have x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. If we're looking at this square root, if over here, um, b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, then you're gonna have two solutions, negative b plus the square root of whatever this is and negative b minus the square root of whatever this is. So you have two solutions. If it's equal to zero, then the square root is equal to zero, and then you're doing negative b plus zero, negative b minus zero, both situations that's just negative b, so there's only gonna be one solution. And if it's less than zero, then you're going to be taking the square root of a negative number. The square root value is going to be imaginary, so there's going to be no real solutions. So we're looking for when there's two real solutions. So b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. And if we're lining that up with ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, the standard form of a quadratic. So we can line up a is going to be negative 2, b is going to be 32, c is going to be negative k. We can plug those values into this and solve for k. So b squared is going to be 32 squared minus 4 times a is negative 2, c is negative k. Again, now that we have one variable, we can just solve for k. 32 squared is 1024 plus 4 times 2 times k is 8k. Three negatives means the negative stays. Two of them are going to cancel out, leaving one remaining is greater than zero. If we add 8k to both sides, left with 1,024 on this side, is greater than 8k. Getting k on its own, and just divide by 8. And this is going to leave us with k on this side, with the 8s disappearing, is less than... 1,024 divided by 8 is 128. So the equation has exactly two real solutions when k is less than m. If we know that 128 is greater than k, the least possible value of m, if m is greater than k, just this flipped, is 128. Could be anything greater than 128. But given what we know, which is that k is less than 128, the smallest number larger than that is the number right here, which is 128. So our least possible value of m, if the solution has exactly two real solutions, is m is equal to 128. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.